You know, the Buffalo Bills have just been playing very good football so far. They are now currently 6-2, and two, which is a pretty good record. And it's also just interesting just by the way that they're built. While a lot of these teams are seemingly trying to get, you know, more passing options, give me more receivers, give me more of these types of things, on their offense, they're very much a run-heavy team, and even their quarterback likes to run the ball a lot. I mean, they just won a football game by Josh Allen only throwing for 160 yards. And, I mean... Granted, it was against the Washington Redskins, but at the same time, a big part of it was because Singletary had a pretty good game. I mean, Allen only got 160 yards because he only threw the ball 20 times. That's a huge reason why. In my opinion, for a third round pick, he has definitely lived up to his expectations and then some. One thing they did a pretty good amount against Washington was a play like this, where they're going to have a receiver fake a jet sweep to the bottom half of the screen, but it is not going to be a run in that direction. Instead, it'll be a run to the top half of the screen. Allen's actually going to just toss it back to his halfback Singletary, and that's how they're going to run up to the top half of the screen. Because from there, they're going to have their two receivers run the top half of the screen, run to block those two Washington players right there. And the reason they're doing that, whereas some teams would have two offensive linemen block those guys, is because then they can send their left tackle and also their center to just pull up, go around, and lead block for Singletary. That's the way this play is supposed to work on paper. It's a pretty good concept. And after Allen gets the ball to Singletary, the key point of this play is actually going to be what's going on right there. There is a Redskins player who's trying to move in and trying to make a play, and so for the Bills center, he has to make sure that he's making this block, and it's a little bit closer to the middle of the field than he would have liked. Usually he was expecting this to be a little bit further down, closer towards the sideline. And it's also going to be a little bit basically just right at the line of scrimmage. So for Singletary, he's going to have to get closer to the sideline in a bit more of a hurry than he otherwise would have. But that's what Singletary's going to do. He is going to get up to the top half of the screen in enough time that he's able to get the first down and then some, and they pick up some yards. I mean, that was just, it was a well-blocked play. I get it, they're going up against the Redskins. But at the same time, the Redskins' defense isn't a disaster. It's their offense. That's the reason why they only have one win. So being able to make plays like that, being able to block for plays like that, and also having Singletary be able to take advantage by having a good run, it does. It helps you. I think that play just showed off his vision more than anything, realizing I have to get to the sideline quicker and then doing it. And I think that's one of Singletary's biggest attributes, is being able to do something like that. It's his vision. I mean, let's be honest. This guy is 5'7", 203 pounds, and ran a 4.66 40-yard dash. I mean, that seems like it's a disaster, and that's a huge reason why he went in the third round as opposed to being a first round back. But because he has great vision, sometimes that's all you need. If you can just accelerate quick enough, which he can do, and also just if you can run just fast enough, but also know where to run, that's oftentimes more important than being able to run quicker. It's obviously better to run slowly through a big hole than to run quickly through no hole at all. I mean, you'll get more yards that way. And like this way is a great way where it can help you out, where it's going to be a screen pass. What they're going to do is they're actually going to try to get their center and both guards out to lead block for Singletary, and he'll run right over there, catch the ball, and then, you know, follow the blockers. Pretty simple. And after this ball is snapped, the one thing you will notice is that there is going to be a defensive lineman who's going to try to make a play on Singletary, but again, Singletary's not a, like, a disastrously slow guy by any means. He's definitely slow for a back, but at the same time, he can accelerate pretty quickly. Which is going to show off here as he's able to just outrun him, which is so important in that situation, is to be able to outrun that player while you can now get further down the field. And he's also doing a good enough job of while outrunning the defender who's trying to make a tackle, he didn't run too far in a sense where the offensive lineman in front of him can't make their blocks. So while there's a defensive back who can't try to make this play, at least now there is offensive lineman who can block him. But okay, there's actually going to be one other problem that happens here, and that problem is going to be that the block isn't really going to work out here. Singletary is going to actually have to make him miss, but watch how he then realizes what's going on, just makes a good move, gets around him, and then they're able to pick up way more yards. Oftentimes, that's all you have to do as a halfback, is just make that one move, and that's what Singletary did. He's fast enough and accelerates quickly enough that neither of those things are actual problems for him. While they might not be what makes him special, they're not problems for him. And then he can just use his vision to still be successful. So even though he doesn't necessarily have the talent of a Josh Jacobs, he can still be very impactful to his team, as you saw right there. One other thing I like about him is his footwork. It's not just his vision. He has good footwork as well, and this play will display that pretty well. 
For Buffalo, they're going to actually double team an interior lineman right there. And what they're going to do is they're going to pull their tight end over to block that edge rusher right over there. But something very interesting is going to happen right when this ball is snapped. If you notice, Washington's edge rusher kind of just runs straight into the tight end. He's trying to create that con- he's, he's just running into the contact, essentially. So if this is going to be run straight up the middle, Singletary couldn't run in that direction. However, that's totally okay for Buffalo. Because what's going to happen is that- Actually, they're going to have an offensive lineman get off the double team and then move up to block a linebacker right there. And then in theory, what's going to happen is since there's a receiver running to the bottom half of the screen, then the other defender who's in that box will follow him to the bottom half of the screen. So while one of those Redskins is going to get taken out of the play, actually one isn't. The one who's in charge of covering the receiver realizes it's a handoff and is going to try to make sure that he stops the run. So because of that, now Singletary is in trouble right here. As you see, there just isn't a lot of space. But... One thing I love about Singletary is look at where his legs are. Just look at his stance here. More specifically, notice how close his left leg is to the ground. I mean, he's almost in danger of just accidentally touching his knee to the ground on this point because he's so low, but that's what you want. You get your power by bending your knees, so bend your knees. Because when he shoots forward, watch how he just goes straight by him and is able to pick up plenty more yards than he otherwise would have had he just put his head down and ran straight forward. Footwork is important, having leg strength is important, and just being a, an intelligent football player is important and Singletary has all of those attributes he's not the fastest guy he's not the biggest guy but as long as you can play smart you can be an effective player which is why as a third round pick he's already turned himself into their number one halfback and not just a number one halfback a number one halfback on a six and two team that is probably going to make the playoffs although the division might be tough just because of the you know the Patriots but they have a very good shot of at least making the playoffs. And a solid part of that is from Devin Singletary. I know his bulk stats aren't really that impressive, mostly because, you know, 267 rushing yards. But at the same time, I think the fact that now it looks like he's going to get running back number one carries could go a long way. Because he's averaging 6.7 yards per carry, which is just absurd. He's actually currently third in his team in rushing attempts behind Frank Gore and Josh Allen. But... I have a feeling by the end of the year, he will actually lead the team in rushing attempts because he's playing really well. Uh, and I think that this week pretty much showed that he can be a number one running back. He can be your guy that you give the carries to more often than not. And I do find interesting that because of his pretty quick acceleration, it actually did cause some guys to really take some bad angles. Like on this one, pretty much the exact same play as the first play I showed you. They're going to fake a jet sweep to the bottom half of the screen, but instead pitch it to Singletary, and they will also have their center and right tackle move out over there to lead block for Singletary. And after this ball is snapped, really the key thing I want you to take a look at is what's going on right there, their center. He has not gotten out to try to lead block for Singletary. So this is bad news because Washington has a linebacker who that offensive lineman was supposed to go out and block, but now he can't, meaning that if he just runs right through there, in his mind, he can make a tackle for a loss. But watch how it just doesn't work out. Singletary just runs by him. You know, it wasn't a great enough angle. He should have ran a little bit closer to the sideline, but he thought that he could have taken that angle because he thinks, okay, this guy couldn't even break 4.6 40-yard time. I think I should be able to catch him. And one last play, this is just a fun play, but what's going to happen is that Josh Allen, for him, it's going to be an RPO, where he could hand it off to Singletary, or he could keep it himself and run to the bottom half of the screen. He's going to have to make a decision, and you'll see what he does. So right now, he's getting ready to see if he should hand the ball off or keep it himself, but his decision is going to be made by that Washington player right there. As you notice, he's staying very far out. He's making sure that Josh Allen doesn't run to the outside. He's aware of a potential Josh Allen run, so therefore, he is going to do everything in his power to make sure that Allen can't get to the outside and get a touchdown if he keeps it himself. And so because of that, Allen just says, Okay, great, I've taken you out of the play. I can hand the ball off to my halfback, and we're good. But what's interesting about this from Singletary is watch what he's going to do. He realizes that there is no hole in the middle of the field, so he cuts to the outside and gets a touchdown that way. Again, that's just quick realizing what's going on, which isn't too easy to do because you do have to focus on getting the ball. I mean, you know, Josh Allen's the guy making the read on this play. Sometimes you just don't want to get in his way. But at the same time, not only did he not get in Allen's way, but he made a quick read, realized that he can get around a tackle to the left side of the field and get a touchdown, and that's what he did. So yeah, I mean, I've been pretty impressed by Singletary so far, to be honest. I definitely think that he will be getting some more carries, you know, as the weeks go on. I do think that he will turn into their, you know, starting running back as opposed to just a guy getting a few carries each game. I know everyone loves Frank Gore, and Frank Gore is not a bad back, but 
the reality is, I mean, Frank Gore is just off a performance where he had 11 carries and only got 15 yards. And granted, you know, it's not that simple. There's several reasons for that. That kind of could ha get its own video. But uh, the reality is, is that I think Singletary has played very well. Again, I don't know if maybe he should be the number one back or should be sort of a number two back. But either way, I definitely think that his carries will be greatly added to in the future. But yeah, that's what I thought of Singletary's performance. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.